Hi there, welcome back to With Love Laisha, where we learn to crochet with love and patience. And if you're new around here, welcome to my channel. I'm Laisha. Today I have a crochet tip for you when you are working with color. We all know how many yarn tails we can end up with crocheting something like this. So many color changes, a lot of yarn tails. And having to come back and sew in all those tails when you finish your project can be a very daunting, tedious task but you can save yourself a lot of time and energy by crocheting in those tails as you work along. As I have here, this is a pet mat I'm working on for Smokey and it's not finished, but as you can see, I have nice clean edges with no tails going on because I've been crocheting them in as I've been working on my project. So when I finish, I won't have to come back and do anything extra. It'll be good to go. So let me show you how you can save yourself some time and energy by working in your ends as you crochet along. So stick with me. So once I've done my color change, I'm going to move these tails to the back of my work and I'm going to hold onto them with my work and we're going to crochet around the tails. Keep them nice and snug along the edge, keep them nice and tight along your work. And as you place your stitch, make sure you grab the tails in there. Once again, as I place my stitch, when I'm pulling a loop, I am crocheting around the tails. And that's really all there is to it. Make sure you keep your tails nice and tight against your work. That will keep your look nice and neat. So it's a lot faster than sewing them in at the end. It's a lot less fuss, but it may not be as clean. However, when you're looking at the big picture, once you've snipped off any extra ends, you really don't see them. That does it for today's crochet tip. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe before you go. It saves my channel so you can find it easier next time. Follow me on Instagram at withlovelacia. I share a lot more crochet content for beginners. Don't miss out on that. I hope to see you in my next tutorial. Until then, keep crocheting with love and patience. Thank you so much for watching.